Hi guys. Well, I want to start this video off by saying thank you, thank you, thank you. Because of your support, um, I was able to make another donation. Now, if you're new to my channel, you may not realize that um, any revenue I make off of YouTube, I donate. Um, I donate primarily to St. Jude Children's Hospital, but at the same time, if something locally has happened, um, I donate there. I have talked to y'all about that before, and that's been a recommendation. Um, so if, you know, if, if I'm sure that nobody's going to object to that. But the main thing I wanted to talk about is, am I a homesteader? And am I a prepper? Or am I a, just an old farmer's wife? Am I a homesteader? Well, I suppose in today's terminology or what they're calling homesteaders, we probably are, but we always have been. Um, I believe, well, we call it farming and we call it living off the farm. And we were raised by parents who were raised by depression era parents. So, um, my family always had a garden growing up, as did my husband's. And after I got married, my husband's grandmother, she gardened up until the age of 85, and she taught me so much. We've always had a garden. We've always raised part of our food. We raise beef cattle, so we always have plenty of beef here that we've raised ourselves. And quite honestly, in today's world, that's what I prefer is what we've raised. We know what goes into them. We know they don't have any chemicals. We know they don't have a lot of drugs put into them. So I guess in today's world, it's called organic, but that's just the way we've always been. I've always enjoyed canning. So um, matter of fact, when we built this house, this room that is now my pantry was supposed to be been a canning kitchen with raising our family and stuff, this just kind of took the back seat. So now it's just a storage room. So yes, I have a lot of canned goods. I have a lot of supplies up here. This is just something that we were raised. You keep, you keep, so always have something on stock out where we live because we don't just run to the grocery store for a loaf of bread. We always have supplies out here. Then the question is, am I a prepper? I never considered myself a prepper. This is just something that we've always done. You know, we always keep extra food, what you you uh, preserve, what you grow in the during the summer, and you can it, freeze it, dehydrate it, whatever, so that you can use it for the next year. We raise our own meat. Um, if we buy like a pork, because I've only raised one hog. The old farmer doesn't want me to have any more. And I've never, <laughs> I've never had goat meat. I'd love to try it sometime because I'd like to raise goats just as weed machines. Back to the question, am I a prepper? No, um, not in the sense that most people think where I have Ton, you know, 30 years worth of food. I probably have at least, we could live out of our pantry um, for several months. Uh, you know, there's things we're always going to need uh, to go to the store for, like salt and sugar. Uh, even though I grind my wheat from, um, since we also raise wheat, I make my, I grind my own flour, but you can't do it all in whole wheat, so I still have to buy um, all-purpose flour. So it's not uncommon for me to buy a 20 or 50 pound, 25 or 50 pound bag of sugar and flour, and then I store it here. Part of my job um, was emergency management and to educate the public that you need to keep supplies in stock for we started out recommending three days that you have food, water, shelter for three days in case, you know, your power goes out or in case we have a disaster. 
And around here, our biggest concerns are tornadoes, wildfires, and uh, blizzards. Part of my job was we planned for those emergencies and how would we handle it locally. Um, being at the health department, our, most of our planning was around the pandemic. Um, well, we have, here we are, we're living through a pandemic right now. Everybody, and I mean everybody, needs to keep at least a three day supply um, so that you can get by for three days. If you have a storm go through and you have no power, now out here in the country, out here on the farm, no power means we don't have any running water. Um, we did have, when I had a toddler and a newborn, we had a three day blizzard. And that's the only time I remember being really scared is because I had two older children in the lower grade school and then I had two babies. We were in cloth diapers, but I didn't have enough diapers to go, you know, I didn't have any way of washing those diapers. We had no water. And so my husband happened to be in town when the storm hit. I said, grab uh, two bags of diapers um, and get home when you can. Because here I was with four little ones, no electricity, no water, and this raging blizzard going on. Um, so I was pretty scared and we learned from that. That was my learning experience. I, we've always kept stock now. After you get a three day supply built up, then work towards a two week supply. Um, we've seen what's happened to the grocery shelves. You know, you, you've seen what's happened. And I've heard people say, but I can't even get, you know, um, rice. I can't get rice, it's gone. Now's the time guys go get you a bag of rice, a jar of peanut butter, some dry beans. You know, if nothing else, you can live off beans and rice, rice and beans, we've all heard that. One thing I wanna to say to all of you, you know, we've seen what happened last spring. Now's the time for everybody to get out and get just a few items to stock your pantry. And don't go out and buy a bunch of junk you're not going to eat and you're not going to use. But have yourselves prepared. I've heard city people say, well, we don't have anything to worry about. The grocery store is just down the street. Well, you saw what happened there. And, or we're always going to have water. You don't need to worry. Oh, yes, guys, you do. What if your city water supply, let's say they shut everything down. Once those big water storage tanks or however your city handles it, either go dry or they don't have the power, you're not gonna have tap water. You gotta remember that. Just store a little bit of water. Just to show you, I have some jugs of water here. I, we keep that on stock. Now there's plenty of prepper videos out there and most of them are gonna show you so much stuff and um, that's, that's not necessary. Just take care of your family. You know, the government's not always gonna be there to take care of you, so, and they may not be able to, you know, and we've seen it right now. Unemployment checks aren't getting out to people and eventually the government's gonna run out of money. You're gonna have to learn to take care of yourself. I hear people say, but I can't afford it. I can't afford it. I don't have any money. Well, don't go out right now and buy a case of this and a case of that. When you go to the grocery store and you buy a can of green beans, get an extra can and set it back in the pantry. And you know what? If next spring comes and you haven't used it, there you go. You don't have to go to the grocery store. But these are just, you know, you can go to the prepper channels and get ideas on what to do. But I, because of my training in emergency management, I do keep stuff on hand, including paper supplies, which Terry, destination open road, ratted me out. <laughs> but we do have paper supplies that we keep in stock. It's nothing new for us. We always have because we do live so far out. 
and I put up a lot of sweet corn. So there's a lot of corn cobs out there. If we have to use the out an outhouse, I got the corn cobs, but I don't get a Sears catalog anymore. If you're old enough, you know what I'm talking about. But, um, so guys, I'm just an old farmer's wife. We're doing the things we always have done. We've always been prepared out here because we have lived um, through that three day blizzard where nobody went anywhere. Um, now we're all living the pandemic. We were prepared. We really didn't have to go to the store. And even now I don't go to the store very often. I go to get fresh produce, um, but right now I've got plenty of that going on. And um, so what can I say? We're, we're pretty much set. I do think that we're gonna go through some rough times in our country. Um, I've been, I don't watch much news, but with a little bit I have, it's pretty obvious that things are gonna get rough for a few months. Uh, so be prepared guys. And I don't know, our country might get closed down again because of the pandemic. Be prepared for a couple of months if you can. Don't go panic buying. This is not the time to panic buy. Just be prepared to take care of yourself. Am I a prepper, a homesteader, or just an old farmer's wife? I'm just an old farmer's wife. You all have a good day. I wanna thank you for your support. Um, this has allowed me to donate more and I truly appreciate it. Um, I, I just wanna share whatever you guys help me with, I wanna share with others.